Hello, I'm glad you're here. I have some trick-or-treaters at my door and they're pretty hungry. Yeah! I've only got six pieces left and I want to make sure everyone gets an even amount. Can you help me out? I have six pieces of candy here and three kids to distribute them to. So which multiplication sentence would help us find out how many pieces each kid should get? Great! We'll divide our six pieces by three to find our answer. To begin, let's draw a place value chart to represent how much candy I have. Which of these is correct? That's six discs in the ones column. Now I want to distribute them to these three trick-or-treaters. Well, each of them has their own bag to be filled. So I'll draw in three places to represent dividing by three. Here's a place for one group, two groups, and three groups. Now I need to distribute the disks evenly. To make sure everybody gets the same amount, let's go one at a time. Here's one for you, one for you, and one for you. We've still got more, so let's do it again. Here's another for you, and for you, and for you. Notice how I'm crossing out a disc up here each time I move one to the groups. No matter how hard I try, I can't make new pieces of candy out of thin air. Now each trick-or-treater has an equal amount of candy. We divided six ones by three to get two ones. Let's look at this in another way. We had six pieces as the whole. Our divisor showed up at our door with three trick-or-treaters. So the three goes outside. And our answer was two. We distributed two ones three times. So two ones times three is? Two ones times three is six ones. We put that down here to check. And six ones minus six ones equals zero. We have no remainder left. Each of you get two pieces. But sorry, there's no extra candy. <coughs> Think you've got the hang of it? Ooh, hang on. More! OK, more trick-or-treaters. Looks like we've got some more work to do. Luckily, I've got a new bag of candy with 45 pieces. What? All right, I was saving some for myself. But now we've got to distribute this evenly. Let's model this with a place value chart. I have 45 pieces of candy, and I want to pass them out to four people evenly. Which equation are we trying to solve? Great. 45 is our whole, and we want to make groups of 4. So 45 divided by 4 is our equation. Now I want to model this in a place value chart. Which of these represents 45 divided by 4? Here is a place value chart with 45 represented. Four disks are in the tens place, five disks are in the ones, and then we have four groups made below to represent the four bags. That means we're dividing by four. So go ahead and start with the tens column. How many tens disks should be in each one of these groups? One ten in each of the four groups. We distribute evenly, so one, two, three, four. And then we're all out of disks. Perfect. Now look at the ones column. How many disks will go in each of these groups? And what is different about this column? In the ones column, we distribute again, one at a time. Here's one, two, three, and four. That fills our groups once each. But look, we have one disk up here still. What does that mean? Well, since there isn't enough to share evenly, we're going to leave this here. That is our remainder. We have one left over. 
Now let's check this using numbers. Here's our division symbol. Which number will we put here? Our whole is 45, so we place the 45 inside. And what are we dividing by? That's right, we had four trick-or-treaters show up. So we want to make four groups. Now start in the tens. This four knocked and asked us to fill four groups. How many discs could the tens give to each? Great! Four tens divided by four is one ten. So we put one up top. We distributed one ten four times. One times four equals four. We place our answer down here. 4 minus 4 equals 0. Great. Next, we bring down this 5. How many 1s can 5 give to each of the 4 groups? We know from our place value chart that 5 can give 1 disc each to 4 groups. So 1 goes up here. Then 1 times 4 equals 4. We place the 4 down here and subtract. 5 minus 4 gives us 1 left over. So what is our final answer? What is 45 divided by 4? 45 divided by 4 is 11 with a remainder of 1. So from our bag of 45 candies, we could give each of the four trick-or-treaters 11 pieces each. And look, we have one left over for ourselves. Sometimes math can taste pretty good. Hooray!